In today's video, we are doing some experiments with glue sticks to see what happens if you heat them up, burn them, or throw them on a grill. Callie, we've got a lot of glue sticks. This is a lot of glue. Well, I've never used this many glue sticks all at once, and I kind of wanted to see what happens when you just like waste them. We were, we're always told not to just go through office supplies and school supplies and stuff like that, but I kind of wanted to just see like, okay, that, what happens when you squish it? What happens when you heat it up? What happens when you melt it down? This kind is supposed to like turn clear when it dries. Does it turn clear if you melt it too, or just like once it's completely dry? Why? I gotta know. <laughs> No. I mean, is it even say non-toxic anywhere? It's school. Safe. School glue stick. Non-toxic. Oh, there you go. Oh, there yeah. You go. Cool. Washable. Safe. Non-toxic. All right, have a party. Here's the basic idea. We've got dozens of glue sticks, and we're gonna open them up, explore what happens when you smush them, burn them, heat them up, and then throw them on some bread in a panini press. Personally, I don't see the appeal of the glue stick as a food choice, so. So but, obviously we're gonna make it into food. But I did want to know what it tastes like. There's always stories about kids eating glue, so I'd, I'd pass, personally. Not my thing. Uh, but we do want to do some other experiments with it. Do I have glue in my teeth? Uh, you do, actually, a little bit down at the no. bottom. No, mm-mm, no, 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 Mike. <laughs> All right, take this glue stick, I'm just gonna snap it off. The glue stick holder, that is such a vibrant purple, it's amazing. So when you spread this onto paper, like, it does dry clear. Okay, that's pretty cool. This was very purple and it actually only took like three or four minutes and it's just turned completely clear as it dries. That is nifty. I wanna see you just, I wanna squish it. So I've got like four of them. I'm just gonna squish them because I've never just taken out a glue stick and squished it. So here goes. So it's kind of like a slippery sticky at the same time. I might need a new pair of gloves. It has much more smell than I would have thought. I've never really thought of glue sticks as like, oh, what a strong smell. Just as a note, it looks very, very blue on camera. Uh, in reality, it does have more red in that, so it's a little bit, I mean, it's just a, a strong violet color. Uh, not quite the bright blue that it looks on screen, but that still does look pretty cool. I need new gloves. I'm gonna get you new gloves. So time to start the heat test. I'm just gonna throw one of these glue sticks right on a pan on the stove and see what happens to it. How much is left when you actually cook a glue stick? All right, so that's the result of really high heat. And I think I wanna try putting it down on lower heat and see if we can just get like a bigger goopy blob of it. So this is some that was melted down and it's just, I poked it with the popsicle stick and now it's stuck to the popsicle stick. But even though it's been melted, like it seems to be kind of the same. Like it's just acting like the glue stick does. Let's see if we can glue the piece of paper closed. Still acting like glue. Okay, now make after, that one work. After melting it. This one I think is <laughs> uh, not going to work. This is basically just feels like a bit of burnt plastic now. And with some uh, maybe the, the inside goopy bits. Cool, the inside goopy bits still seem to be working as glue as well. <laughs> successfully melted down glue sticks. Now let's see if we can transfer this and have it cool down into a new functional glue stick that happens to be shaped like a stormtrooper helmet. 
So the stuff that's in the bottom of the pan basically has dried out, but weirdly it hasn't turned clear. It still looks very purple, so maybe you can just overdo it. Well, we've seen what happens if we just put a bunch of the glue right on the pan. Now I think we're gonna see what happens if we put the glue in between, hmm, tortillas, I guess. I'm making a quesadilla. We're, we're making just... a glue quesadilla. <laughs> glue to dia. All of the glue that you spread onto the tortilla is just gone clear. Oh my goodness. So it works really great on tortillas. Now yeah. We know that. There. Cool. That's delicious. Let's cook it. There's no glue on that yet. No, no. This is just bread. <laughs> Testing it out pre-glue. Um, we got a George Foreman grill. We're going to try and make a glue stick panini. It's kind of like a banana, but a little bit harder. I guess that depends on how ripe your banana is. And there's a little screw-shaped piece that lifts up the plastic that the glue is attached to. You can see the shape of the screw piece where it's inside the glue stick, very clearly marked. Glue stick carving is going to be the new best art form. I think that's enough glue for a panini. I just want everyone to know that this is actually the butter we use for lunch. Glue stick panini. Wait, I'm gonna want this. I'm very Posty. happy about my quesadilla. Oh, that's, okay, well I, I burned it. I might it. have turned the temperature up too high. You, that. <laughs> what? Now, if that glue were cheese, that would be a good quesadilla. At this point, I just want to see how many weird things we can cook at once. <laughs> there it is. Now that's a glunini. That is a great gooey texture right there. Look at that. Mm, nice crispy outside, warm gooey inside. This is not how you make pigs in a blanket. I'm just going to do it this way because... This is the worst thing I've ever done to a panini press. <laughs> I think we need to start opening the others. So we, we've got this pig in a blanket cooking in our George Foreman grill, but we also want to see what happens if we just load the grill up with just glue. Yep. And so we're going to take 50 glue sticks, take them all out of the plastic, and just have the 50 little purple nubs, and we're going to put them all in the George Foreman grill at the same time. All right, here's our pig in a blanket in a panini press. <laughs> Whoa, if you can't even make glue stick. Okay, <laughs> get it, glue, glue stick. Ow! <laughs> glue stick web. All right, Stormtrooper glue stick face. How did you turn out? Oh, not bad. Oh Stormtrooper glue stick helmet. <laughs> Missed some of the little details, a couple little bubbles, but look at that, you can make custom glue stick shapes. That applies pretty much exactly like the original glue sticks. Like Here. it just goes on pretty nice. Put them on toast. Missed. Yeah, you did. Remember how those two glue sticks in the pig in a blanket went everywhere? Uh-huh. This is 50. This is gonna go everywhere, everywhere. Oh, stay, stay, stay! Close it, close it, close it! Ah, they're <laughs> oozing out. Go back in! <laughs> 
Get them all up at the top. And now, There's that dirt smell. Yeah, and now the back. It's actually coming out the back now. Okay. Yum! What an even coating. Look how well <laughs> that's coated the whole grill. I'm oh, impressed. Oh, wow. So I want to know if we're gonna, once it dries, if we're going to be able to peel this off like we did with the, the webbing before. <laughs> it stays stretched out oh now. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Well, in a battle between glue and a non-stick surface, we've discovered the winner. Let's see which one is winning. Now I'm just hungry. Me too, I could go for a panini. Don't worry guys, we've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you directly to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box is gonna show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. If you hit this bomb in the middle, you'll be subscribed to our channel and that way you'll never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.